Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Frankly FM84 and a big thank you for joining me. Another episode of Bello Calcio. We are currently out in Japan managing Shonan Balmare in the Japanese J League. So if you were with us in the last couple of episodes, you'd have seen some crazy football. A 4 3 victory against Bissell Kobe was followed by a 5 4 defeat in extra time, which put us out of the J League semi final on away goals but we have rolled forward we are not letting that get us down we are only three days into the future can't count there three days into the future uh so you haven't missed anything we are playing against suwon blue wings in the afc champions league quarter final so let's jump on in and show you that we have a got our first team back which is very very good news for us and secondly how we get on in that champions league quarter final Here we go then. So if you followed the channel over the past couple of days, you'd have seen that we have had some issues with selection in those two J League Cup semi-finals. But thankfully, our entire first team is back today, so we are at full strength. So the lineup we are going to be putting out today is Tani in goal, Hata, Tachibana, Kuwahara, and Hirabayashi at right back. We've got Ghana in the RPM. Probably going to have to come off after playing in both of those two games. But Quinones, Atangana, and Kanda are on the right hand side with Praysar and Mita up top. Hopefully they're going to be firing us into the next round of this Champions League as we look to go and win it. So let's show you what happens when we play in the Champions League quarter final against Suwon Blue Wings. This is it then. The Champions League quarter final is up and running. Nothing really going on in the first five minutes of the game to report on, but it does look like we are having more of the ball we've had more of the shots we had four and three on target but nothing really going on in terms of highlights 21 minutes of the game is just running away from us but we do have the first highlight here as Garner plays the ball forwards to Kanda he's going to play over the top Mitter is running in behind Mitter still garnering big interest from teams like Paris Saint-Germain and uh, I think Arsenal were involved at one point but we are holding on to him and hopefully the club can hold on to him till the end of the season and then after that, I don't know what happens once we hit that resign button. Uh, when we bring you the five-year update, we'll see where the club has gone and what they do with the money that we're going to leave behind, considering we can't seem to spend it. But um, hopefully the club will be in a good position. We have the first shot of the episode. As Atangan hits it straight at the goalkeeper, a little bit disappointing. He didn't put that either side of him. Could have given us the lead. But Ghana with a corner. It's dealt with and it's headed away now for a counter-attack by Suwon Blue Wings. Kubayong one has played the ball over the top, but luckily for us, intercepted and dealt with quite easily. So, it, the action keeps rolling as they are in behind again. They're going to play the ball forwards, but it goes straight through to Tani, who gives it straight back to them. Now, can we get the ball away here? Tachibana to Hirabayashi, Ghana to Atangana. Mita has hold the ball up. Preysart now involved. Plays it back to Mita. 1-2. Preysart's in behind. He's gone to ground. This is going to be a penalty. Now he's Mita on the pitch. This means he's going to be stepping up to take this. Can he convert the penalty and give us the lead in the quarter final? He runs back. Hits the ball. He can't. The goalkeeper has saved it. He gets the ball first. Plays it back to Garner and it's intercepted. And our penalty woes in this save continue because we were just talking about Garner in yesterday's episode. Uh, he hasn't been very good on the penalties. We put Mitter on them. And then Mitter goes and misses the penalty. So, not a great start to the quarterfinal. But he's going to have a chance of redeeming himself. And Taro Mitter normally does. 42nd goal of the season with a little stooping header. It goes straight into the bottom corner. And that is a great way to get over missing a penalty in the first half. Quinones involved. The cheeky crossing. Mitter running backwards. Stoops down. Heads it into the far corner. And we are up and running in this quarter final of the Champions League. So looking at the stats, I don't really think that Suwon have been in the game too much. And there's a long ball here in behind for Mitter again. What can he do with it? He's going to cross it in. It's a mad cross, way too deep. Quinones though gets on it. What can he do? Tries to find Hatta who just stands there static. Gives Suwon a chance to intercept, but they give it to Tachibana. Quinones back to Tachibana. Plays to Atangana. Atangana is just walking into the penalty area. It has another shot that's hit straight at the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper spills it and then they manage to get rid of it. 
Yeah, looking at these stats, we have 15 shots and 12 on target. We scored one goal in the first half. And Suwon have had absolutely nothing. No shots on target. No shots at all. No XG. Nothing in the way of chances created. Just they haven't turned up and we haven't capitalised on the fact that they have been very, very poor in the first half. I mean, our woes seem to continue as we keep having shots but can't get a second goal. And is it going to be one of those football manager moments where it be their first shot they're going to score a goal? How often do we see it? Let's see what's going to happen as they're piling forwards. Demich has got the ball, plays it to Sung Byung, Yong Wo to Chang Boon. They're knocking it around nicely and we're not dealing with this. We're going to let them into the penalty area and luckily for us, the first shot from them is spooned over the bar. It's a goal kick, but just shows that we cannot switch off really because even though we are piling the pressure on and dominating the game, we need to be taking the chances that we're creating. And we're going to make a couple of changes here. I'm going to bring Bayashi on in place of Ghana. Uh, these are the players really who are going to be replaced that played in those games because they are just going to be tired. Miyazaki's not a left back, but Hatta needs to come off and he's the closest thing I've got to one. And I think Nishikawa can come on for Quinones and we'll go with those three changes just to try and kill the game off. If we could get a second goal, it would be very much beneficial to us. Also protect us from that football manager thing that you pummel a team into submission, can't beat the goalkeeper and then up oh, there they pop up with one goal uh, late on in the game. And Quinones is cutting in off of the left wing, he's running at them. Plays to Atangana, through to Mita, Preysart is there and again, Preysart with the chance, goalkeeper picks up the ball, we can't get it done. But we're on the attack again, Preysart beats his man, crosses it in, Kanda can't get the header on the back post but Hirabayashi is going to get to the ball first. He plays it back, goes to Hayashi now in the middle of the field, Miyazaki to Nishikawa, is he going to beat his man, he tries to, he's going to cut back. It's kind of a half tackle that takes the ball away from the penalty area. But what a hit by Hirabayashi. Almost a screamer of a goal. But it's again, it's out for a goal kick. And we look like we are struggling to score a second goal. But we've had 26 shots and 18, 19 of them on target. And this is absolute madness that we can't get a second goal. Considering we've got Mita up top. Hirabayashi just gives the ball away. Although what are they doing there? The defender plays it into the post. And the goalkeeper kind of just walks through the post before he clears the ball away. Don't know what's going on there. Um, but they are on the attack and they are going to carve themselves out a chance here because everybody's gone to the ball. And just like I was saying, football manager has this way of doing things to you that you can see coming and can't do anything about. Do nothing about that. As soon as the ball was played, every player gets drawn to the ball, leaves the man in the box all alone. And Ho Hoyun Goyu with the finish. Tani being beaten at his near post as well, which is pretty infuriating. We have got another chance coming though, and it's Hirabayashi who's going to play the ball to Mita. I don't know what he's doing out on the right wing, considering we need him to be scoring goals, not providing them. But Hayashi plays it out to Miyazaki. What can he do with it? He crosses it in. Mita is lurking at the back post. Can't get anything off on it. Hayashi, Hirabayashi. Nishikawa is looked for, but it's going to get cut out. And now all of a sudden we're two on one and the counter attack is on. How cruel would it be to lose this game? And Tani has to make a save. And oh my gosh, that was too close for comfort. We do still have a chance, but they've got a corner. Can we defend this corner and then go up the pitch? So Tani now has the ball in his hands. He needs to release that a lot quicker. Hirabayashi has got a throw in. Mita, it's all going mental at the end of this game. Hayashi to Atangana. Surely he's going to finish one of them. He does. Puts the ball in the top corner after hitting his last couple of shots. Straight at the goalkeeper, Atangana. Puts us back in the lead with six minutes of the game to go. I mean, I don't know why I'm breathing a sigh of relief because it seems that this game is just going to continue to be as crazy as it has been. I mean, it's a great finish in the end. Outside of the right foot into the top corner leaves the goalkeeper stranded. But the amount of shots we've had, we should not be winning this game 2-1. I mean, we've got an XG of 3.75 and only scored two goals. Just shows you everything 
um, maybe Mitter and Preysart aren't the front line partnership that we probably should be playing. Preysart probably better off cutting in from the wing, although Atangana is in behind again here. And Atangana has put it wide. I think he was offside anyway. It does say goal kick, so he couldn't have been offside, but he looked suspiciously offside. But again, the game is going mad right at the end. Atangana, ball over the top. Mitter is in. Can he beat the goalkeeper? He can. He chips it in. And after 87 minutes of struggles and woes and nearlies, we finally get a two-goal cushion with two minutes to go. And I think that is us booked with our place into the semi-final of the Champions League. Atangana with the pass. Mitter with the just littlest of dinks, really. I mean, it almost goes in off the post and the crossbar. But it hits the back of the net. And we are in the lead 3-1. Although the game doesn't stop giving there. It's 88 on the clock. And it looks like Suwon are going to push forwards to try and get back into the game. It's headed clear. But they do get the ball and they're turning back. They're not sitting back here and just going out with a whimper. They're going to try and do everything they can to cling on to their place. They're in behind. Changboom is in. And Changboom Chang sorry, has got a goal back. It's 3-2. And these games are no good in terms of the nerves like you think oh we're done we're three one up it's all over and no it's not absolutely not uh they are in they have scored two on blue wings have pulled it back to two three and it's absolutely crazy that you just cannot get these games killed off but again another chance across tachibana header over the crossbar and it's a goal kick at this point we just need the game to disappear now and that is exactly what happens. Five minutes of the added time have been added. I mean, look at these stats. This is ridiculous. 35 shots, 22 on target, a 4.25 XG, three goals scored. They've had four shots, three on target, scored two goals with an XG of 0.77. Football manager, sometimes you are a tricky beast, but we love you anyway. So another game won in the Champions League. We are pushing in two a semi-final let's have a little look at the schedule so again it was supposed to be Shimitsu S Pulse in the Emperor's Cup quarter-final tomorrow it's not it's now Ura Red Diamonds another all Japanese affair in the Champions League semi-final so little rearrangement there Shimitsu the game after Ura tomorrow if you enjoyed today's episode firstly if you're at this point in the video you're still watching firstly thank you very much Secondly, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. It really does, or I really do appreciate it when you take the time to do that for me. It does get these videos out to a lot more people, and it also helps the channel to grow. And I really do appreciate everybody who's took the time so far across this first year and a half now, first year and a half on YouTube. We really do appreciate every single person that's taken the time. Right then, you're going to have to come back tomorrow if you want to continue with the adventure. Uruwa Red Diamonds are up next. Can we book a place in a Champions League final in the last season of the save?